Did you know that your daily habits are secretly shaping your future? It's true. The small choices you make every day, what you eat, how you spend your time, and who you surround yourself with, are quietly dictating the direction of your life. If you want to become the best version of yourself, you need to take charge of these habits. The best part? It's simpler than you think. All it takes is a few key changes in how you approach your day-to-day -day life, and you'll start seeing the transformation you've been looking for. Avoid this mistake relying on willpower alone to change. Trust me, that never works. The real secret to lasting change lies in giving yourself the order to stop harmful habits, freeing up your time, and pushing yourself to do something difficult. Each one of these actions brings you one step closer to becoming the person you've always wanted to be. So, if you're ready to break free from the habits that hold you back and embrace the path to a better you, keep watching. It's time to make a change. Number 1. Start small, the power of tiny steps. Imagine waking up one day, feeling light as a feather, free from the weight of endless responsibilities. Think back to a time when life felt simple, maybe as a kid learning to ride a bike, each tiny pedal stroke bringing joy and accomplishment. You weren't worried about mastering it in a day instead, every small push felt like progress. That's the beauty of starting small. It's not about jumping into monumental tasks, but about building a foundation one brick at a time. The truth is, most of us get overwhelmed when facing big goals. The thought of losing 50 pounds, saving for a house, or writing a book feels paralyzing. But what if, instead, you focused on taking just one small action every day? Starting small doesn't just simplify your goals, it rewires your brain for success. Studies show that completing even the tiniest tasks triggers dopamine release, the feel-good chemical. This creates a positive feedback loop, making you eager to take on the next step. It's not about achieving the goal immediately, it's about making progress manageable and rewarding. Think back to another time in your life when something seemed impossible. Maybe it was learning to drive, acing a tough exam, or even making your first big career move. At first it felt daunting, didn't it? But by breaking it into smaller chunks, practicing, studying, or taking small risks, you eventually got there. Reflecting on these moments reminds us how capable we truly are when we let small actions build momentum. Now imagine this, what if the life you dream of isn't far away, but just a series of small, consistent steps ahead? What's one tiny action you could take today that might change your tomorrow? The curiosity about where even the smallest effort could lead might be the nudge you need to start. Number 2. Stop letting anxiety rule your life. Picture this a sunny morning, a steaming cup of coffee in your hand, and nothing but peace in your heart. That's the dream, isn't it? Yet for many, anxiety sneaks in, stealing those calm moments. It whispers fears of failure, what-ifs and worst-case scenarios. But here's a hopeful truth. You don't have to live like that forever. Anxiety often feels like a storm you can't control, but its power comes from the meaning we give it. Understanding anxiety means realizing it's not the enemy. It's your mind trying to protect you. When our ancestors faced danger, anxiety heightened their senses to survive. But today, that same mechanism activates during work deadlines or social pressures, tricking us into thinking we're unsafe. Breaking free begins with awareness and grounding techniques, like deep breathing or focusing on a single object which gently remind your brain that the storm is temporary. Think back to a time when you overcame a fear or challenge. Maybe you delivered a presentation, went to an unfamiliar place, or stood up for yourself. Beforehand, anxiety likely painted a vivid picture of everything that could go wrong. But afterward, you probably felt a wave of relief, even pride, for facing it. Those moments remind us that anxiety lies 
it magnifies fears that often never come true. Now let's entertain a thought. What if anxiety could become your ally instead of your adversary? What if, instead of fighting it, you learn to listen and use its energy as motivation? Imagine the possibilities of stepping into situations you've avoided for years. Could the key to your next breakthrough lie in the very thing you fear? Number three, create a routine for stability and growth. Remember that one vacation where everything seemed to flow perfectly. The days had a rhythm, breakfast at the same spot, exploring new places and unwinding with a relaxing ritual. That rhythm brought a sense of peace, didn't it? A good routine can do the same for everyday life, grounding you amidst chaos and uncertainty. Life can feel like a whirlwind without a routine, pulling you in every direction. But routines aren't about rigid schedules. They're about creating anchors that provide stability and growth. Morning rituals like journaling, meditating or exercising set a positive tone for the day. Evening wind downs like reading or reflecting help your mind transition to rest. These habits might seem small, but over time, they become the framework that supports your larger goals. Think back to a time when you felt most in control of your life. Maybe it was during college, a job where you thrived, or a phase where fitness was a priority. Chances are you had a routine, a system that kept you moving forward even when motivation wavered. Those moments remind us that structure isn't restrictive, it's freeing, allowing us to focus on what truly matters. Now, imagine crafting a routine tailored to your dreams. What if, by simply dedicating 20 minutes each morning to your passion, you could completely change your trajectory? Where could this newfound stability take you in six months? A year? The curiosity of what a solid routine might unlock is enough to spark the first step. Number four, give yourself the order to stop harmful habits. Have you ever found yourself stuck in a cycle, repeating the same mistakes over and over again? You wake up, say today's the day, but by the end of it you realize you've slipped back into the old habits. Maybe it's the late night snacking, procrastinating, or giving in to negative self-talk. It feels like you're constantly at war with yourself, doesn't it? The hardest part isn't just recognizing the harmful habit it's finding the strength to break free. But what if I told you that the first step in conquering these habits is as simple as giving yourself an order? Think about it when you commit to something, whether it's a project, a relationship, or even a dream. You give it your full attention and energy. Yet, when it comes to quitting harmful habits, we often approach it with hesitation or self-doubt. We say things like, I'll try, or I'll work on it, leaving room for failure. But what if you changed your approach? What if you ordered yourself to stop? Not as a suggestion, but as a firm command. Your mind craves direction, it thrives on clarity. And by setting a clear, definitive order, you signal to your subconscious that this habit is no longer an option. This shift in mindset starts to reframe how you see yourself. You're no longer the person who tries to quit. You are the person who simply doesn't. That clarity can be a powerful motivator. Of course, it's not as simple as saying, I'll stop and expecting everything to change overnight. It takes time, effort and consistency. But once you recognize that your behavior is within your control, you give yourself permission to take that next step. And every time you resist the urge to indulge in that harmful habit, you build a bit more strength. Think back to a time when you made a difficult decision to let something go. Maybe it was quitting a toxic relationship or cutting back on an unhealthy habit. How did it feel to take that decisive action? There's something freeing about letting go of what no longer serves you. Reflecting on these moments helps you realize that you've done it before and you can do it again. But here's the real question. What if the next time you feel that pull toward a bad habit, you reminded yourself of the order you gave yourself to stop? 
How much more control would you have over your actions? Imagine how empowering it would feel to know that no matter the temptation, you hold the power to say no. It's not just about stopping the habit, it's about reclaiming the authority over your life. And once you realize that power, you'll begin to take charge in ways you never thought possible. Number 5. Free up. Precious time for what truly matters. Time. It's the one thing we can never get back. We spend so much of our lives caught in the endless cycle of work, errands and obligations, yet at the end of the day we're left wondering, where did all the time go? It's easy to get lost in the noise of everyday life, juggling commitments and responsibilities. But what if you could free up some of that precious time for what truly matters? In a world that's constantly demanding more of us, it's essential to recognize where our time is going. The truth is, a lot of us waste time on things that don't contribute to our happiness or growth. Whether it's scrolling aimlessly on social media, binge-watching TV shows, or overcommitting to things that drain our energy, these time suckers leave us with little room for the things that truly move us forward. The key to freeing up time lies in identifying and cutting out the distractions that don't align with your values or long-term goals. Start by taking a hard look at how you spend your day. How much time are you dedicating to activities that align with your passions, dreams or relationships? When was the last time you sat down to work on your personal goals? Be honest with yourself. Are you spending your time in a way that moves you closer to the life you want? Or are you just filling the hours with mindless activities? Once you've identified where your time is being drained, you can begin to make changes. It's not about being perfect. It's about making intentional decisions. Start small by setting boundaries on the things that waste your time. For example, limit the time you spend on social media or cut back on activities that don't serve your personal growth. This might feel uncomfortable at first, but over time it will create space for things that truly matter your health, your relationships, your passions. Think back to a time when you felt like you were truly in the moment. Maybe it was spending quality time with loved ones, diving into a hobby or working on a project that made you feel alive. How did it feel to give that time your full attention? The beauty of these moments lies in their simplicity. We often think we need to do more to be happy or successful, but sometimes the key to happiness is doing less and making room for what truly matters. Now, ask yourself, what could you achieve if you freed up just 30 minutes a day for something that truly aligns with your goals? Imagine the impact that would have on your life over the course of a month, a year, or even a lifetime. How different would your day-to-day -day look if you took back control over your time? This question should inspire you to think about how you can prioritize what's most important in your life. Time is precious. Make sure you're using it wisely. Number six, do something difficult to build resilience. The easy road is always tempting, whether it's avoiding a tough conversation, choosing the comfort of familiar routines, or avoiding a challenging task, it feels safer in the moment. But deep down, you know that growth doesn't happen when things are easy. It happens when you step out of your comfort zone and face difficult situations head on. Doing something difficult is like lifting weights for the mind and spirit. It's uncomfortable, sure, but every time you push yourself to tackle something challenging, you build resilience. Think about the toughest thing you've ever done. Maybe it was moving to a new city, ending a toxic relationship, or confronting a fear you've held for years. How did you feel once you'd overcome it? There's a sense of accomplishment and strength that comes from overcoming obstacles, no matter how big or small. Building resilience isn't about making life unnecessarily hard. It's about facing adversity with confidence and grace. The more you challenge yourself, the stronger you become. 
And this resilience translates into every aspect of your life, your career, your relationships, and your mental well-being. Every time you tackle a difficult situation, you learn more about yourself, your limits, and your potential. Think back to a time when you felt truly challenged, maybe in school, at work, or during a personal struggle. How did you manage to overcome it? And what did you learn about yourself in the process? Reflecting on these experiences helps you realize that you are more capable than you give yourself credit for. You've faced hardships before and come out stronger on the other side. Now, consider this. What's something you could do today that would challenge you? Whether it's signing up for a fitness class, taking on a new project at work, or having that difficult conversation you've been avoiding, challenging yourself will build resilience. Imagine the strength you'd gain from pushing yourself to do something hard every week. Resilience isn't built overnight, but with every step you take outside your comfort zone, you grow stronger and more capable of facing life's challenges. Number seven, associate with people who inspire growth. There's an old saying, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Think about it. Who are you spending the most time with right now? Are these people lifting you up, challenging you, and inspiring you to become better? Or are they holding you back, reinforcing your doubts, or keeping you stuck in old habits? The people you surround yourself with have a profound impact on your mindset and your growth. When you associate with individuals who inspire growth, you naturally start to adopt their energy, mindset, and habits. They encourage you to think bigger, work harder, and strive for more. Conversely, spending time with people who are complacent or negative can drag you down, leaving you feeling drained and uninspired. Think about the people who have truly influenced your life. Maybe it was a mentor, a close friend, or someone you admired from afar. How did their presence impact your growth? Did they push you to be better, or did they reinforce your limitations? Reflecting on these influences helps you realize the power of positive relationships. Now, ask yourself, who in your life is actively encouraging your growth? Who challenges you to be better and supports your dreams? Surrounding yourself with people who inspire growth is essential to reaching your fullest potential. And if those individuals aren't readily available, seek them out. Join groups, attend seminars, or find mentors who align with your goals. The energy of growth is contagious. Let it fuel your journey. Number eight, stop fearing change. Embrace transformation. Change is inevitable. It can be scary, overwhelming, and even painful. But what if we started viewing change not as a threat, but as an opportunity for transformation? After all, some of the most significant moments of growth in our lives have come from the changes we were once afraid of. Think back to a time when change felt daunting. Maybe it was switching careers, moving to a new place, or letting go of something familiar. It's easy to fear the unknown, to worry about what could go wrong. But over time, you probably realized that the change was necessary for your growth. You became stronger, wiser, and more adaptable because of it. Now think about a change you're currently resisting. What's holding you back? Fear of failure, the comfort of the known. The truth is, staying in your comfort zone might feel safe, but it can also keep you stuck. Embracing change allows you to grow in ways you never imagined. It pushes you to adapt, learn new skills, and become more resilient. So the next time you face a change, ask yourself, how can this lead to growth? What opportunities could this bring? Number nine, cultivate mindfulness to clarify your path. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to get lost in the noise. We rush from one task to the next, constantly multitasking, constantly distracted. But amidst the chaos, there's a powerful tool that can help you gain clarity and focus mindfulness. 
Mindfulness is about being present in the moment, fully aware of your thoughts, feelings, and surroundings. It's about slowing down long enough to truly connect with yourself and your goals. Practicing mindfulness allows you to make better decisions, manage stress, and gain insight into what truly matters. Think about a time when you were fully present, when your mind wasn't racing, and you felt a deep sense of peace. Maybe it was during a walk in nature, a meaningful conversation, or a moment of quiet reflection. How did that feel? Cultivating mindfulness gives you the tools to experience those moments more often. It helps you cut through the distractions and focus on what really matters. Now, imagine applying mindfulness to your daily life. What could you gain from being more present in your relationships, your work, and your personal goals? Mindfulness allows you to gain clarity, prioritize what's important, and take purposeful action. By becoming more mindful, you'll be better equipped to navigate life's challenges and make decisions that align with your true path. Number 10. Focus on what you can control, not what you can't. It's easy to get bogged down by the things that are out of our control. Whether it's the actions of others, the economy, or global events, there's always something that feels beyond our reach. But the key to maintaining peace of mind is learning to focus on what you can control. The Stoics, like Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus, taught us that the secret to a fulfilling life is found in our ability to control our reactions to external events. We can't control what happens to us, but we can control how we respond. This mindset shift frees us from the burden of trying to change things that are beyond our power and helps us focus on what's truly important, our actions, our attitudes, and our growth. Reflect on a time when you got frustrated about something outside of your control. How did it make you feel? Probably helpless, right? Now think about how differently you would have approached the situation if you had focused only on your response. By shifting your attention to what you can control, you regain your power and peace of mind. What can you control today? Your habits, your choices, your mindset. These are the areas where you can make the biggest impact. Let go of the things that are outside of your reach and pour your energy into what truly matters. Focusing on what you can control is the key to maintaining a sense of peace in an unpredictable world. Drop a hundred if you've watched this far. This shows you're part of the 0.01% who actually finish what they start. That's the mindset that leads to real success. And now, you're equipped with the tools to transform your life. Every step you take towards breaking harmful habits and focusing on what you can control is a step towards a better, more fulfilled version of yourself. If you're serious about making those changes and leveling up your life, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Join this community of like-minded individuals who are committed to growth and self-improvement. This journey doesn't stop here. Let's keep pushing forward together.